Hello again everyone and welcome back to Crafts by the Bow. I had a couple of requests to make one of the cards that I'd made at on stage and this is one of the make and takes that everybody got to make. But while I was demonstrating actually on stage, um, this was the actual card that I spoke about and I was lucky enough to have this beautiful set which is the Rooted in Nature set. And I had this for about three months before on stage and I just loved it. It's one of those sets that you can use for everything, for every occasion, every season. It really is a lovely set. Now, this is the actual card. This was just the paper that everybody got in their make and take. But the actual card is this one. So... This is the one I'm going to make today. Now, the first thing you need is a piece of soft suede card cut at eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. So this is already scored for me because it was one of my pieces from um, on stage. Okay, so the next thing you need is a piece of very vanilla and that's for this piece of the background. So this is cut at three and a half by four. And on this, we're simply going to stamp the tree ring piece. Now, this is the only image in the set that doesn't have a matching die, but it's so easy to cut out. It's, it's quickly fussy cut, or I did some cards and I used one of my bigger punches, or you could use one of your framelits to cut it out as a circle. So we need the soft suede ink and I've already mounted the stamp. Just ink it up. It does take quite a lot of ink on here. It, you don't think there's much on, but when you stamp, you'll see the, it's one of those almost like the laser etched ones. But my brown is looking like it needs to be refilled. So mine will be quite light. I could do it in the Stamparatus and uh, keep stamping. But just for now, we'll stamp this. And I have it so that the little cutout is on the top. And you just need to position it in the middle. It won't be as dark as my example card just because that ink does need uh, a refill. Okay, and let me find my little chamois and we'll give this stamp a clean. Thank you to everybody who sent me messages saying about the chamois cloth and uh, they were also having a little bit of a problem with it staying dirty. What I've decided is I'm going to try and keep this side clean so that when this side makes me a little bit uh, OCD. I just turn it over and look at a clean piece. <laughs> so, there we are. That's all cleaned. And we won't need that anymore. You then need a piece of DSP. And this is the piece that we used at on stage with these beautiful leaves on. And on the back it has the stripes. So I'm just going to attach this to our card base. Whoops. I really did enjoy presenting at, uh, on stage. I was so nervous. But you know, once I started to talk, it was lovely because everybody there was a stamper and nobody was you know, heckling or it was just such a lovely experience. And afterwards, I wished I could just go back and do it again. Okay, so there's our DSP, and you'll see that I've lined it up with this right-hand side edge of the card and left a little gap there. That isn't usually what I do. Uh, I usually like things centred or off to the left-hand side, but uh, this was the design that I was given, so I followed the instructions. Uh, another first for me. <laughs> okay, so then this little piece of cream card you can see fits on top and it needs to have dimensionals on so I'm just going to put six on one on each corner and then in the middle okay. 
if any of you who are watching was at Red Deer, just give me a shout out and uh, let me know. Yes, that's where I did my demonstration. And uh, it would be nice to know that some people from Red Deer and the area were following me as well. If you ever get the chance to go, it is such a fun day. Okay, now you can see this time um, the card is going to line up with a tiny little border at the left and a tiny border at the right. There we go. Okay, now the next things you're going to need are two little pieces of scrap card. One in mint macaron and this was actually cut for on stage at two by three and a half and a little piece of the new grapefruit grove cut at three by one and a half and these are used to stamp the leaves uh, the leaves are out of this part of the set and they're the two oops let me move that the two leaves that where you can see the um, veins and everything so like the skeleton leaves and the small one is stamped onto the grapefruit grove and the large one onto the mint macaron now for on stage, my Grapefruit Grove ink hadn't arrived, so um, what I did was I stamped it with Versamark. But here it is stamped again with the Grapefruit Grove. It's just a teeny bit darker. But if you don't have Grapefruit Grove, you can use your Calypso Coral or Versamark and that works equally well. Okay. So once you have them stamped, you need to use the, I should have kept that there, you need to use the um, framelits just to cut them out. Just roll it through the big shot and the pieces you have will look like this. Now these pieces on here look like they're really long, but actually they're not. What I did was I cut them in half so that they stuck out above the sentiment. Otherwise, if you kept it at this side, you'd just see a tiny bit at the top, a tiny bit at the bottom, and barely anything of the Grapefruit Grove one. So what you need to do is just cut them in half, cut them across the middle, ready for when you're doing your sentiment. The first time I made the card, I stuck the leaves on, even though I'd cut them out. And really, I would have liked a little bit more length to them. So this time, I'm going to wait and have the sentiment and the little banner ready first. Now, the sentiment is on a piece of Whisper White, which is just three inches by one and an eighth. And I used the You Are Wonderful from this set. Now, for on stage, we used the brown the um, Sahara Sand, no it wasn't Sahara Sand, the Soft Suede, I beg your pardon, but for today I've stamped it in the Blackberry Bliss and I, I like how that stands out. So the next thing we need is another little piece of the DSP, it's the one with the leaves on that we've already used as a backing, but on the back it's got the stripes and this piece is cut at three quarters of an inch by three and a half inches. And we need to banner the end. Now, I don't have the triple banner punch. So if I'm bannering the end, all I ever do is do a little snip in the middle of the paper or the card and then go from the corner to the snip and from the opposite corner to the snip. And that should be fairly even she says yeah there so you don't need to have the banner punch it would be nice sometimes but uh, you know you can manage without it okay now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some fast fuse or adhesive just about three quarters of the way along on the banner at the top just like that and that is so we can put attach this part onto it and there we are okay so there you go 
Now this piece is going to be attached onto here and I like to have just a little bit of the tree ring showing as well. We are going to put this on dimensionals but before we do that we're going to measure where our leaves are going to be. So you can see I'm just going to slot it slightly under there and the same with the orange one and then very carefully do the same underneath just to show so it's at the top and the bottom. Okay, now let me find, I think I'll put these on with a glue dot. Oops. That's just about there. And let's put the bottom green one on first. I can always remeasure the orange one. Line it up. That looks about right. Let's find another little glue dot for this orange piece. Oops, it's escaping. And then I'm going to put it just over the overlapping slightly. Whoop. There we are. And the same at the bottom. Then with a the glue dot, if I do need to move it at all, it will move quite easily. But no, I'm happy with where that will be. Okay. Oh, what I forgot to do before I adhered this down. Let's see if I can take it off. I forgot to put the twine round. Oh. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? Don't worry about the little pieces of torn paper, you won't see them. Okay, so I'm going to put this onto here with some more dimensionals and put just a couple in the middle so that it picks it up. There we go. Just take the backings off. And pop this over. And then we need a little piece of twine. And you need between 15 and 20 inches, depending on how long you want the tails on your bow to be. I'm, the twine actually came in four colours. The Grapefruit Grove and the Mint Macaron, the Blackberry Bliss and the Soft Suede. I'm going to use the Blackberry Bliss this time. So I need to have about, I know mine's about 15 inches, but uh, 15 to 20 and you would have plenty. So there we are, that's at 16. Okay, and then I'm just going to wrap it around the back. And I think I'll put one little dimensional on the back to keep it on. But I'll use a bigger piece. Snip one of these just to attach it to. Just attach that there. And we're just going to tie a very simple little bow. a little bit shorter on this one okay let's go back to attaching this to the base I'll pop a few more bits of dimensional on just in case some of these have lost their sticky wouldn't believe I'd made it on stage would you and I forget to put things on Make sure I've got it open in the right way. Take that little one off. Okay. So, no 
them up and we're going to line it up with just a little border at the left and a little border at the right. Now the last thing to put on are going to be the little leaf trinkets and the little trinkets come in a set where you get um, the bronzy copper colour and the silver and at on stage I just let people choose whichever ones they wanted. I'd made this one with the copper colour so this time I'm going to use the silver ones and you need one that's got the three leaves on and one that's just the single leaf. And then to attach them, I attach them with a glue dot. And whenever I put anything like this on, I always find it easier to roll the little glue dot up like, like I told people at on stage, roll it up like a little booger. And then uh, put that on back so that you can't see any of it showing through. I'm actually going to put two little boogers on this one. Roll it up. And that way you can't see the um, adhesive and it doesn't stick to anything else. So I'm going to pop that through there. And then the same with the little tri leaf. Again, roll up like a little booger, stick it on the back. And I'm going to put one at the other side too. Now I see lots of little boogers in my job. I work at a preschool and um, these are some of the least sticky I've seen. <laughs> there we go. Just put that on there. And there you are. That's the card we made at on stage. So if you went at on stage, now you know the dimensions and all the little tricks. So thank you very much for watching me and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye bye.